Is there a North American demographic craft labor cliff that will affect project performance? Research Team 318 has examined a wide range of data and has identified emerging trends that should be addressed. Here to present the team's findings is Jennifer Sulak Brown, Vice President of Human Resources for Barton Malo Company. Hello, thank you. My name is Jennifer Sulak Brown, and I'm here representing Research Team 318. Two years ago, we set out to examine, is there a craft labor cliff that affects project performance? So a little bit of spoiler alert in the video. There is, in fact, a cliff. <laughs> um, as you can see from our team members here, we had a nice representation of both owners contractors, as well as two universities represented. Our learning objectives were first to examine current trends uh, in construction workforce for both US and Canada to see how they affect the availability of qualified labor. Then we wanted to understand how craft availability affects project performance. And if it does affect project performance, uh, what is the impact on safety, schedule, quality, and cost. So my father-in-law um, was a pipe fitter welder by trade. And when he was alive, I would talk to him and ask him, you know, why did you decide to become a welder? And he would sit at the table and he would talk to me about what it meant to build something with his hands. And he said it was hard work, 
but it was worth it because at the end of the project, you could see something, this tangible product, and he had a real passion for what he did. Now, back in the 70s, and what this chart shows is that that very much was a motivator about why people went into the trades and why, they be, uh, why he became a, a welder. And then, you know, the other point was he could make a good living for his family because construction typically, you know, the second motivator was a high income followed by job security. Now, fast forward to present day, while that motivation is still there, it's no longer the number one driving factor in which people go into the trades. The number one factor is a higher income, followed by job security, and then that sense of work accomplishment. So to answer if there was a cliff that impacts performance, we set out to examine what potential causes of the cliff might be. So a little bit about our research process. First, we did an extensive literature review and read just about everything we could find about labor shortages. Then we followed two parallel paths. The first path involved looking at a lot of secondary data. As a matter of fact, we looked at over 13 data sources, which represented over 2 million pieces of data. Then we came up with a demographic data analysis. Simultaneously, we conducted our own survey in which we looked at nearly 100 completed projects um, as well as the CII benchmarking database to come up with a, a database on construction. And from there, we came up with our recommendations and conclusions and we, as well as we produced an implementation tool. So the three areas that we looked at for what's causing the labor shortage are number one, employment or unemployment rate of construction. Number two, the gaps in supply and demand as well as the impact on regions. And lastly, um, the age of our workforce. So I'm gonna go into each of these in further detail. So what this chart represents is uh, the actual annual unemployment rate. So if you look at the yellow or the orange band across the graph, that represents um, unemployment. And when the red line, which is the United States um, uh, construction line, well, you can see when the red line dips into unemployment, that's when we see a shortage. So, you know, the late 90s um, in 2004, 2005, then the Great Recession hit in terms of 2008, 2009. So even though we've seen dips in the past, what's different about this time is that the rate in which the unemployment, um, in which it's declining is faster than we've ever seen in the past. In addition, when you look at it in a little bit more detail by trade, uh, depicted here are both electricians and then pipe layers, plumbers, pipe fitters. You can see, the, the, again, the decline. And for those trades, it's actually dipped into the unemployment rate, which I think we've all seen in terms of trying to find that available labor for our jobs. So what this map represents is the shortage by region, or what our, our uh, projection is. So when you look at the top five trades in which you, we've um, examined have difficulty finding, electricians, instrumentation technicians, iron worker welders, pipe fitters, and then the pipe fitter combo welder, you can see that it's hitting different regions at different times. And again, this is by region. We understand that there are pockets in which the cities are representative, but by a region, the darker the red, the more severe the shortage. So this projects it out until the first quarter of 2018. So we talked a little bit about the unemployment rate. We talked about the shortage by region and the supply and demand. This last chart I wanted to talk to you about is the age of our workforce. So the blue line represents construction. The red line represents all private industry. Um, or all other industries, I'm sorry. And while construction is still a younger workforce, when you look at it this way, the rate in which we're, we're accelerating in the last 10 years is four times greater in the last decade than we've seen in the past. So we essentially have a grain of our workforce. I also talked about how one of the number one motivators for why people go into the trades or into the craft right now is because of a higher income. However, Taking a look at wages adjusted for inflation, back in the 70s, construction would pay 42% more on average than private industry or all other industries. However, when you look at it today, the gap is smaller. So we're not getting or seeing the financial return to offset the hard work. And the delta is getting smaller. So I briefly described what's causing the cliff. 
And you might ask yourself, so what does this mean? What does this mean to our projects? Well, what our research found was that the more severe it was to find labor for your projects, um, the more it affected our project performance. This chart represents safety. As you can see, the total recordable incident rate for projects that had a moderate to severe difficulty finding labor was far higher than those that did not. So this chart represents safety, but we also have data that talks about how it impacts schedule, how it impacts cost, and how it impacts quality. We produced an implementation resource called CRAFT, which is CRAFT Risk Availability Forecasting Tool, which um, helps examine if you're having difficulty finding labor, what do you do to mitigate the risk? So this is available on the CII app for this conference, as well as the website to be downloaded. So to hear more about um, impacts to projects, as well as the demographic trends and how it affects different regions and ways to mitigate those risks, please join us in this conference room at uh, 1 o'clock and 2.25 today. Thank you.